series, learnhowtotintcarwindows.com. Um, making a quick video here. I'm gonna try something out with this camera here. I just wanna show you quickly. Apparently I can. Let's take a peek here. I wanna show this panel here. So, uh, this is a an Audi, no, an Acura TSX, a 2014. I think this covers a range of, I'll put it in the description, but it's like uh, 2010 to 2014 or 20, 2009 to 2014, something like that. And so uh, this particular panel is tricky, and I wanted to share this with you guys so that you could see how I do this. Um, what I do first is there's a little cover here So we're gonna use a little uh, pick and we're gonna get this out of here and you're gonna just reach in there and pull this uh, Depress the little uh, clip and scoop it out and then pull it out, right? All right, that's one then you actually have another uh, small a gasket here behind the uh, or not gasket but a little rubber cover there which exposes a screw down there uh, behind the handle itself and uh, in addition to that these are some hidden ones that you might not see there's a little notch you can pop the uh, switch assembly all right and get that out of the way exposing another screw there and this is where this one is a little tricky, but there's a screw there. There's three screws right in this section here, one, two, and a secret screw there for three. So I'm gonna get those out of the way. Uh, you guys can watch as I, as I get those out of the way, and then I'll show you the front door. One screw, I'm gonna get these three here. Now, this is just for the purpose of window tinting, right? We're getting, the, we're getting the sweep out of the way so we can bottom load the film. Oh, one screw fell in. I'll get that. I'm gonna get my uh, door popper, my door panel removal tool, plastic popsicle stick. Screw fell out. I'll pop this off. And then what I'm gonna do, as always, is I'm just going to put this in place. Screw it down there. I still have my sweep out of the way. I can bottom load and we're good to go. Let's take a peek at this front door. This is a little more tricky. It's not really, it's pretty close, but there's one little secret. Uh, a little secret component here. So again, I'm gonna go here. Behind the, uh, the handle, we have our little cover. You just depress that. And let's get it again, scoop it out, there we go. All right, so we got that. Sometimes you gotta bend this tab back up when you put it back together so that it fits in there tightly after you've depressed it. And so I'll pop it back up a little bit so it makes a, a good tight seal when you put it back. I'm going to remove this little cover here which is, it pops out you very easily. I'm going to get this switch assembly out of the way. There's a clip in there. You can actually just, nah, that one I don't need to pull out. It's got enough room. But here's the trick. This is the trick. When you first do these, you'll, you'll be searching and you'll be like, why is this thing still held into place? Well, on the back door, the screw is exposed. But on this front door, this is hard to see. So I'm gonna raise this up. I'm, gonna, I'm trying to make this so you guys can really see what I'm looking at here. So I'm gonna open this, and then I'm gonna pry underneath here. This little cover is hiding a screw. Okay, I just get in there, pop that, get it out of the way, and then 
I'm exposing a hidden screw back there. And so, again, I'm going to, I'm gonna remove the three. One, two, three. I know you guys know how to count, but I don't know why I'm doing that. Anyways, here's this, uh, I'm gonna take the, the last one I'm gonna take out is gonna be the one that I'm going to hold the panel in place with, so I'm just gonna keep it on the tip of my, uh, of my, my screwdriver head there, my number two Phillips head. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in again, and I'm gonna, if I can show this maybe a little better, maybe I can show this from this angle here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get behind this panel a little bit just so I can sneak this tool in there. All right, so you gotta kinda stick it in and pry it out. And maybe get it there, see like that. And once, once you have one popped on these, generally they'll all pop pretty good. In addition to that, on this front unit here, I'm gonna pop this uh, with a plastic popsicle stick so I don't scratch anything. I'm gonna get under here. This tweeter assembly here, I'm gonna pop that. Okay, and it didn't wanna come off there. It's actually just held around the corner by a little, a little molded piece of the plastic there. No big deal. So now, we got that out of place, cock up the back, slide the front out, and then I'm gonna position this so I can put this one screw back in. And sometimes you gotta weasel it around, push it a little bit. And now I got that in place, I got my sweep out of the way so I can bottom load. So there is the, here I'll show you. That is the, uh, Here's my uh, my database. Let's see what this is. If I open this up, this is a 2014 Acura TSX, and it goes from 2009 to 2014. So that'll cover 09 to 14. So hope that helps somebody. Learn how to tint carwindows.com. Got a website being built right now to help people learn this trade. All right.